Today we're going to look at a mod called Create Bitterballin, which adds deep fried foods from the Netherlands. So let's uh, dive right in. Hallo, hula. <laughs> Sorry for my any Dutch uh, viewers. That was probably terrible. Anyway, we're going to be taking a trip here to the land of uh, tulips and windmills uh, in order to take a look at this fun mod called uh, Create Bitterballin which adds uh, deep fried foods from the Netherlands, as well as uh, a few other different things with it. I think eventually it's gonna have bicycles and a few other things. So uh, still in development and a few really cool things. So the first thing that we're gonna need to do actually is we're gonna need to find some flowers, but uh, not tulips, which <laughs> would be on theme, but I inappropriate, right? We actually need sunflowers, that's right. So we're gonna be making some uh, fry oil out of these. So. With that, let's uh, take a look at some changes that were actually made to the sunflower in this mod before we get into all the different kind of foods and things you can make with it. So the first thing you'll notice is you can't plant, I'm, I'm clicking, you probably hear my mouse clicking, with the actual sunflower like you could before. It actually now requires the sunflower seed, which you get drops from when you break sunflowers. And that'll actually create a, a stem, which will grow kind of like a crop. Uh, still works with bone meal and all that kind of stuff. Your uh, tall flower um, farms will still work. So let's actually take a, a dive into a kitchen here and let's take a look at all the different things we can make. So as I said, our kind of uh, vanilla, you know, bone meal still still works. Um, a little you know, dispenser with a little clock. You can see we're getting those pumped up here. Ooh, cockroach. <laughs> no cockroaches, I don't know what I'm talking about. This is a clean facility. Anyway, um, that works. Let's turn that off. It's kind of loud. Um, now, what we can do with these is, obviously, um, when we break them in survival, we get the seeds. But we can also take them, and we can move them here into a basin. So if we take the sunflower and we mix them in a basin, it will actually give us those sunflower seeds, which is good because we're going to need them here for the next part. Now, we can cook up those sunflower seeds to get roasted sunflowers. As you can see here, it gives us the roasted sunflower seeds, which are a nice little snack. But additionally, if we want to get into the, the deep frying stuff, we actually need to crush the sunflower seeds. So if we take the sunflowers and we chuck them into either a millstone or the crushing wheels, we're going to get crushed sunflower seeds, which we're going to need here. So if we take those crushed sunflower seeds, we've got a whole you know, barrel of them here, and if we turn on the hopper there, we mix them in a basin with water. Here, let me Turn the water on. So water and the crushed sunflower seeds being cooked over a blaze burner is going to give us uh, the frying oil. So you see that's starting to go up. And this is going to be what we use to deep fry everything in this month. So very important step. Uh, I'd recommend getting a sunflower farm going so that you can get this going. So. Let's uh, take a look at a few of the different foods added by this. Not all the foods added in this mod are deep fried, but a, a large number of them are. So let's take a look. So before we fry in anything, we actually need to make the deep fryer. So to make the basket, it's just three iron sheets and two ancillary alloys. And then you place that basket under a copper casing and a shaft, and it'll give you this mechanical fryer, which when you put it over a basin with a blaze burner underneath and some fry oil inside, all right, we'll top that off. To show this, we're just going to take some of the dough from the create mod, just place it in here, and if we hand create this down, there we go, now it's going to fry, makes a nice satisfying sound, and it's done. And we can just pull out this, and we've got some ooh, olibolen, or olibole, if uh, Google Translate is to uh, be trusted, but it just basically uh, uh, translates to deep fried donut balls, it sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. Now, if we take that same dough and we put it underneath um, a, s a spout with honey in it, we're going to get this sweet dough, which if we cook it, we're going to get this speculas, which again, I apologize for all my Dutch viewers or anyone who speaks Dutch. I'm probably saying that terribly. Basically, a, a spice biscuit. So we take uh, some of this dough, put it in here, and it's going to give us that. Now we can actually take this dough, and if we put it under a press, it's going to give us this unbaked strumpuffel. Um, I'm going to stop apologizing, just <laughs> terrible. Anyway, we can then cook that uh, in a smoker or a furnace, and it gives us a strumpuffel, this strumpuffel, <laughs> and um, put it in a under a deployer with some paper, and it will give us a wrapped one. Uh, I don't know if this is any different than the regular one, um, but there you have it. 
We can also take it and if we squirt chocolate on it, we're going to get the chocolate glazed, glazed stroop waffle, which can also be wrapped. Now, when you eat any of the wrapped food, there's, there's plenty of them, you're going to get a dirty paper out of it, which can then uh, actually be washed back into regular paper <laughs> and then reused. So you can have a, a waste bin for all your dirty papers that can then go get washed and you get your paper back and put it back in the system. There you go. A few other ingredients we're going to look at real quick before we get into the, the heavy stuff is if you take nether wart and you crush it either in a crushing wheel or a or in a millstone, you're going to get the crushed nether wart. Additionally, you can take the sweet dough and mix it with the crushed nether wart and it's going to give you the kreidnoten or kreidnota if uh, again if google is to be trusted uh, which are essentially gingerbread the the crushed netherwort is also used in creating uh, ketchup so if you take sugar beets and the crushed netherwort takes two beets one crushed and one sugar in order to make the ketchup and then water obviously you can also place it in the world it'll flow out and then also you can make mayonnaise and mayonnaise is made just by putting milk and eggs together so i've already got some milk in here I throw just a bunch of eggs in here milk and eggs and it is going to create mayonnaise next you can also make stamp pot which is just with a bunch of potatoes um it takes six potatoes or sorry six baked potatoes and six carrots in order to make some stamp pot now you can see it makes it in a liquid form now you can't get this in a bucket or anything but if you take a bowl and you put it on under a spout with it, it'll fill it up and then you can eat it that way. Seems tasty. So let's dive in and look at what we can make here. So this is the actual bitter bollen, <laughs> which is made with some sort of raw meat. It doesn't matter. With wheat and milk, it's going to give us this raw bitter bollen. So if we turn this whole thing on here, we'll start putting the meat in. We'll start putting some of that. We got milk pumping in. And there we go. It's gonna mix us up some of this bitter ballin. If we load it up into our fryer, turn our fryer on, it's gonna fry that, and then we can then pull those out, and then we have some bitter ballin. Over here we have the croquet, which is two wheat, meat, and a milk. So you're gonna want to put filters on these, otherwise it'll kind of make a combination of things since the recipes are so close. And then it's very similar. You fry it. But with this, you can actually take it and apply uh, bread to it. Or sorry, you apply it to the bread. So you load the croquet into the deployer, and then you deploy it onto the bread. And it gives you the croquet sandwich, which you can then put mayonnaise on, or ketchup, or both. So here I've shown it with both, and it gives you the double-topped croquet sandwich. Now, I've got this set up so they can also do the uh, frankenil. So if I change this recipe here and flip this around so the eggs go in there, these actually take, uh, doesn't take the milk, it takes eggs, wheat, and the raw stuff. And very similar to the croquet, we're going to fry it, and then we're going to apply it to the bread. There we go. And similar, you can uh, put mayonnaise on it or ketchup or both, and it's going to give you the double-topped uh, Frickendale sandwich. I'm, I'm sorry. I know I am. I, I, I said I'd stop apologizing, but here I am apologizing again. Now, additionally, we can make uh, churros, which is just wheat, sugar, and water. Oh, well, that's... I got that turned away up. <laughs> and then it, just the same thing. You fry it, and then you can, again, apply the paper to it, and you get the wrapped churros. Also, if you pick potatoes and mix them in a basin, you will get raw fries, which can be fried, wrapped, which can also be topped with mayonnaise and ketchup, or both, as you can kind of see here. Now, one thing I've noticed is, is wrapping them and topping them doesn't actually change how much you get from them. And I don't know if that's a, something they're going to be changing or if that's on purpose. So this extra step here doesn't seem to actually add anything as far as I can tell. I, I could be wrong. I could be missing something. I don't know if it adds any extra effect or anything. Fire resistant. I don't know if that was just the fries. So it seems like maybe the mayonnaise gives you uh, resistance and the ketchup gives you fire resistance. And then if you have both, gives you both. Let's test this out. <laughs> yeah, so ketchup gives you fire resistance apparently. 
and just mayonnaise gives you resistance. There you go. Okay. We're learning as we're going. I bet. I'm wondering if this does the same thing. And looks like it. So there is some benefit <laughs> after all. And the other, I guess the other thing is, is you can't put the ketchup and stuff on it if it's not wrapped. So I guess that's one purpose for the wrapping. And no, I did not just try to eat a bucket of ketchup and a bucket of mayonnaise without anything on it. Or, well, it doesn't do anything. Not that I would know. It's never too early for ice cream, Jim. But we didn't have any ice cream. So this is mayonnaise and black olives. Oh, oh It's God. comfort food, all right? God. All right, there's a few things you can actually deep fry. So if we deep fry ender pearls, oh, we need, we deep fry ender pearls, oh. You put the ender pearls in the fryer. You don't put the stuff in the, the thing. I had to learn that pretty early on. Let's fry this. All right, and it gives you these ender balls, which if you eat them, it gives you this unanchored uh, effect, which as you saw, it just kind of randomly jumps you around. Um, yes, my uh, my kitchen is in a cave. Anyway, back to the kitchen. The other thing is you can take magma blocks. Oop, I don't want to do that. And if you deep fry the magma block, it gives you the crystallized oil, which I don't know much of a use for this, other than I think it gives off a very faint light source. So, here you go, you can use it for decoration. Um, I don't think you can refry it or anything. I'm not sure. I guess this is the decorative piece and, uh, like I said, a really low level light source. And then lastly, you can actually catch raw herring by fishing. Um, they don't spawn in the world as, as fish you can go and kill. But uh, you can fish them up with a fishing pole, and then they can be cooked into a cooked herring. Anyway, that will be it for the Bitterballen uh, crate add-on. Um, ton of cool stuff here. They are still actively developing it. I know they've got like bicycles planned. That was you know been since the original part. Some really cool features. I love the deep frying. They are actually uh, constantly updating this. They're adding new things. Um, bicycles, for example, are something that's been planned in here. I guess that's a big thing in the Netherlands, and as well as uh, a few other things. Um, additionally, they're creating an add-on for the add-on which is uh, called Create Deep Fried, which where they will add other deep fried things from around the world. So Bitterballen will, will be the kind of the main one. It'll hold all the stuff, you know, all the Dutch um, deep fried stuff. And then the add-on will add stuff from around the world. So it'll utilize the fryer for doing those kind of foods. And I think uh, another thing is they're adding um, compatibility for like Farmer's Delight, for ketchup, or sorry, for tomatoes and, and onions and all those other kind of things. So some really cool stuff coming in there. Um, so check out this mod, uh, really cool, it's a lot of potential and it's being actively worked on, which I love to see. And a special shout out to Cactus Cell at 123 and user GL6VV8LG7X for the recommendation of some awesome mod. Feel free to recommend any mod you want. And uh, I'll be done with my terrible Dutch pronunciation. <laughs> okay. Thank you all, we'll catch you in the next one.